I don't think that that picked that up. So I'm just going to give a real quick recap because it was not just the right microphone for some reason. Uh, Act 537, there were public comments, by the way. Act 537, uh, we asked Joe Valdez to make some changes to the capital fees and other fees. Um, our attorney will be reviewing it, and uh, we'll, we are looking at uh, putting in a clause with the uh, state of reevaluating the arrangements as it relates to the first developer or. Uh, tapping into the WSA. The sewage management program, the public bank will be available for adoption by the Thursday night. And uh, the statewide program grants is going to be the endorsement of 2023 6 for the Tomahawk and Police Department and 2023 7 for the EMC equipment request. Next item is to schedule the town hall meeting. Uh, he'll call that the events of the of January. Uh, once the special study is ready, all the fees are known. I would say we want to maybe do like second week January, second or third week of January, so like 8th and 12th or the 15th through the 19th. And we can call and see what they Yeah, see what, they, they, see what they've got and see what Hypotera has and Chuck and everybody else. We can find a date that works for everybody. So you, they wanted to know. What we want available, audio equipment for the dream. Um, yeah. Tables, computers, lighting, it's a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. So I'll 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 connect with you guys on that, but it would be from what you just said, tables, lighting, microphones, and then if they have like a projector or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh Unfortunately, uh, Supervisor Brooks is resigning. He received his notice of resignation on November 3rd, which uh, the resignation is effective November 27th. Uh, after that time, we will have five days to accept the resignation and 30 days from November 27th to appoint the new. So I don't know if we want to do that except with. Uh, um, so you can reach the third thing. I'll be. Thursday. Yeah. Oh, let's check once I run it. There's last meeting ever. Okay. <laughs> we'll let him run it. This way he'll have his last say about everything. Sure, you want to do that? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll be here so you can have fun. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, we'll do it together. Do it this way. You said it. Uh, road occupancy permit ordinance amendment uh, 2023 2 has been advertised. It needs approval. A resolution will be needed to set the fees. Again, I think that's going to be a Thursday night. Uh, road occupancy permit fees, resolution 2023 8. It's also going to be a Thursday night thing at Colin Brings. Proposed short term rental ordinance. A draft has been prepared for permit application. A rental inspection checklist has been uh, prepared for craft. We will need a resolution to make that make that to set the fees. I did ask Colin about the uh, setting limitations on how much a property can be used as a short term rental. Um, he's pondering that, but it may be a, a zoning. Like a, yep, and that's the discussion that I see. Yeah, yeah. And so we'll have to see what he says on that. But uh, by itself, this is a good piece of evidence yep. there for. Making sure that short term rentals are properly maintained mm -hmm. and safe. Uh, the proposed long term rental inspection ordinance and fee schedule. Um, I have not read through it yet. We should get an email from Kraft. Okay. They include, they gave me two, they gave me Richlands and they gave me Lower Heidelberg because Lower Heidelberg involves hotels. Okay. Okay. So that's, uh, they, I immediately like that one. Yeah. I'll focus so on that. And Richlands was the most current that they did. That was the one that Andy and Colin or Thurman had given us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Stonecroft Village D for the open space lot 215. I don't have any new updates on that. I haven't heard. Um, no. I think Chuck was giving that material that they were going to look at. They just kind of, it's a clerical issue that yeah. the holders, I don't know what the argument's about. Yeah. Well, for, it may be a situation where it's not. It's not done in D7, so it may not even be needed, but yeah. whatever, we'll see. 
um, the emergency management coordinator report. Sandy, no, we don't have anything. Okay. No, we just completed another certification program. Okay. The adoption of the hazard vulnerability assessment mitigation plan. This is resolution 2023 9. I guess. I think do this every three years. Yeah. So, okay. So, John said it. I retyped it to meet our format. Okay. Uh, Creekview Dairy Operation Letter of Credit for Lease Request. The balance is $40,222.88. A request has been made to the lease in full. So, check this out. Yeah. 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 Made a motion last month to accept the table or number two and actually keep payment of $290,700. Oh, would you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what they're going to have And so we, we're keeping, I think that's Chavis, so we're keeping 5% of that. When do we give that back? When? You know that every single thing is completed. Once everything is completed, yeah. So then we'll get another payment for the yeah. yeah. And the funds, the ARP funds, were transferred from the savings and such. Okay. Uh, guide Reels, Engineer S has suggested we prioritize William Penn Boulevard for this year. Uh, Hickory Road and Bond are to follow next year, and we'll be getting us estimates to determine the projects need to be public later. You'll also do a PA one call because we know there's a gap. Uh, PennDOT uh, gave us notice of public plans to display. This is for the uh, Route 419 bridge replacement. Um, I don't know. We get the plans. We get one. Oh, I thought they gave us the plans. The public plans are um, the plans. We invite you to participate in the plans displayed on the question of the PennDOT website. Between November 13th and December 13th, at you know, the point, let's say. Um, so there will be physical, there will also be physical plans displayed during the same time frame at the moment of the building located at the park. Okay. So if you want to look at what they're doing on the PennDOT website, trying to find the bridge right at Boyers, that's where okay. it is. Yeah. What are you What are Okay. Yeah, that's so that's been slated. Um, they don't say right now. I, I want to say before they told us in twenty twenty five. Yeah, they came. They, they came to us like two years ago. Like you're gonna you know, tear a bridge. Yeah, you go for it. But yeah, we hadn't heard anything for a bit. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, bridge isn't in. Yeah. No, but they still came to us to let us know that. It would, it would impact us if they have given any like detours or anything like that. So, <laughs> yeah. Big talk. Big talk. Big talk. Big talk. Making it the money, you know, they did out of that ball. Build another lane for the traffic and then replace the bridge. Other than that. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 So, we should check out. Yeah. Maybe they'll get it sooner. I'll just what? Uh, yeah. 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 as possible. Um, the two following road items on the agenda we are not going to discuss because of the property owner engaging council on their own side. So, potential legal reasons we'll not discuss. Uh, 2024 road projects. Road crew is suggested Sheridan Road south from William Penn Ward, Lebanon County, Sheridan Road north from William Penn's Ward's Road. And South Road Road and it's a I have a question for yeah. you. This is um, David asked me. So at this point, we've turned matters over to Chuck to have an evaluation with his road guy. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we would be talking to Charlie Paris mm -hmm. and Penn Yep. Um uh, and then it's a conversation as to how to proceed and how much money and et cetera, et cetera. So from that point, then we'd be able to look at funding, et cetera. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. step one is yeah. we pick the roads, we get a preliminary, okay. we run that by Chuck. Okay. Uh, or not Chuck, excuse me, Charlie. Okay. To get preliminary approval on it. So that we can use like the fuels okay. and then we go through the process of figuring out if it's fundable or not, or okay. a mix of certain things you can do one, not the other. Yeah. Would Chuck be talking to Charlie? 
Yeah. Well, Chuck has said that he there's there's another person in their office that does the road designing kind okay. of thing. So that because this this part of sharing the road that everybody's talking about is it, it needs some kind of inlet box, some kind of drainage in yeah, there because it's so flat. Yeah. Um, I think that was the a big issue. Issue. Yeah. And so then we have some concept of what and then yes. Yeah. Either like somebody with SD would be talking about. Okay. Okay. Is my guess. Yeah. Okay. S SD would give us a like the things that we need to do. It's all part big. You're going to cost about this much, and then okay. I got Charlie, Charlie's blessing on. And then because it, it's it involves the dark. Yes. Then we go to bid and yeah, you know, betting for money. Yeah. Okay. Good. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Martin's landscape supply dumping permit. Uh, Secretary found out the cost was $150, not $60. They uh, lady told me $60. When I called the other day and said they'd like to get this permit, I was told $60. He said, oh, no, this out. And of course, I originally said it was $240, then it came up with 150 So I, I didn't know if we wanted to go ahead with that or not. Um, this is where we take our tree limbs, yeah. whatever, and they grind them up for mulch. <laughs> Just that needed in the township. I mean, other than when we have trees that come down. I mean, it, it can be done in one year and a lot of next year. Yes. Trees that ought to be trimmed from all the way. And and we don't have a we don't have a server. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I've got a tiny but that's not going to do you for what. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know. I, I know. But I'm just saying. Like, Yesterday, uh, me and David and I told off and told the first body, and they, they had a spreader in a legion low. That's the thought we could rent it to just have a pile of mulch. Uh, or whatever, we don't put the mulch. Right. And then we need to do it. Right. Well, we need mulch. We need mulch for the. And we can tell me if you want this. <laughs> I know, I can. Yeah. Um, so, finds out how much it would cost us to run from Salt Hawkins Township. And it's yeah, yeah. If it's less than 150 bucks, I would say we can do that. Yeah, and then that's why we can spend the whole gym play around. Yeah, uh, and we'll sort of work with this uh, new beers. Oh, please, please get back to us. Yeah, let us know. So, I would say just hang on to it. Hang on to it. Yeah, yeah. In that for now. We, we know it's available. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next item is equipment repairs. We received quotes to repair a little truck windshield that's leaking at the top because of rusting cap. Uh, John Wenzel Body Shop gave us a quote of $1,535.94. Works Auto Collision for $5,623.79. And Spittler's Collision for $2,256.70. I think the caveat with all those is they don't know no. until they open it up and get to it. So. That I, any of them could escalate in price. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would almost say like we start with the the John Wenzel one, the one thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars and ninety four cents. If it escalates, it's going to go up. Right, you know that that's the start. Right. right. Um, okay, so I'll make a motion to authorize the repair of the little truck windshield at John Wenzel's body shop. For a anticipated price of one thousand five hundred and thirty-five dollars. Second. Roll we'll call Peter. Hi. Hi, Rainy. Hi, Jim. Hi. Okay. Next item on that same point is the motor for the salt spreader on the little truck is broken and it cannot be. It needs to be replaced. The estimate for replacement is five hundred and ninety-seven dollars and eighty-one cents for shipping, which shouldn't be any more than fifty bucks. So uh, I'll make a motion to authorize the purchase of a new motor for the salt spreader of $597.18 plus shipping and tax. 81 cents. 81 cents. Thank you. Second. Paul Peter. Aye. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, signs and sign posts is the next thing on the agenda. Um, for the road crew, we need about 20 posts and post anchors. So I'll make a motion to purchase from MSI 20 posts and post anchors. Second. We'll call Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Jake was going to get a 
They're supposed to send us a price list. Mm -hmm. David's going to be in the village just to compare, just to see if it's a but he had. I mean, if it's less than what the cost is for shipping, then yeah. Uh, winter snow removal. Uh, we need to start getting the trucks ready for potential snow. Oh, we, we put it to salt or something. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, we have a little truck. I have to get some some water, some feed for the uh, so um, well, that was a motion to get those yeah. wood flaps in the strip yeah. and it's dry. They authorize no, that. No, this is for the for the loop. Okay. Let yeah. us let us know what, what it is and how much put together. Um the other thing that I'm gonna need you or if Dave's able to help with that, is we need to talk to Mervin or whomever about yeah, the other than other Yeah. Um, Same list as last year? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I oh, oh, uh, thought it's not as much. An invoice to look up and get it as Okay. So, Leroy Cooper, Jacob Wines, Gerald Cooper, Mervyn Brubaker, Dennis Stevenson, Daryl Brubaker. I think Dennis said he does not. Okay. I, I, I can ask him to do that. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else? Thank you, Noah. Farmers that can help out with emergency on their roads. That might be one for you. If you can talk to Mervyn. Something see if he knows other people that would yeah. Um if we have if we have those, we'll get it on. <laughs> uh, next item is terms that are expiring in January 2024. Uh first one is Dennis Sadison on the Planning Commission. Uh, next one is David Savi on the Zoning Hearing Board. Kelly Cox as the vacancy board chairman, uh, John Celeste as the emergency management coordinator. Uh, John has already agreed to serve another term. I didn't talk to Dennis. I didn't talk to Dave. Kelly is still okay. Okay. Kelly, Kelly's okay. Yes. Dave, is that a no or yes? Awesome. All right, I'll call Dennis. Okay. Next is the extension of the stormwater pipe along Mary Drive and Main Street. Uh, we're still coordinating with UGI, uh, but they may be willing to relocate the gas for us. So we don't have to worry about getting it when we did, which is unexpected and kind of nice. Yeah, I, don't know I haven't heard anything. So I haven't heard anything since, but yeah, what Chuck said the last time that they were actually willing to bore a new pipe, connect the two ends, and just abandon and place the other one. We get it, we get it. Who cares? Um, the, the old one that's not, not got gas in it anymore. So, uh, next is the Comcast franchise renewal. Uh, motion was made at last month's meeting to have Attorney McFarland prepare and advertise. Uh, we will need to have a public hearing to start one of our upcoming meetings to adopt the ordinance. At the, and I think this is the best part for the, the the hearing for that. Yes, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And right, it's my fault. I didn't get it again in front of the advertiser. one day. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So that's so that's we got guess we got to do it in December. It has to be advertiser. Okay. Yeah. No worries. I kind of I recall you sending. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, it happens. So I'm trying to deal. Um. Western Burke's Joint Zoning Ordinance Section 403 Amendment. This is about keeping your pets as domesticated farm animals. Uh, I haven't heard anything. So we'll keep that on the radar and see if you can't poke into the new year about having meetings with Dave already told us that they're not going to meet in November and December. So, uh, Toby Police uh, will have a, a rate increase in 2024. This is going to go from $4,746.61 in 2023 to $4,920 in 2024. This will bring the total for the police services to $59,040. So Secretary had 
came and asked me what your response to this letter was. And I said, well, I'm reading this as this is the normal increase, yearly increase. Like, I don't think this needs approval. Yeah, this is, this is uh, part of the agreement. Yeah, so we already. Like, I don't, what, I mean, I don't know what she wanted you to say or not say. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, I guess. Um, Next is the Dutch Valley Food Distributors Landscaping Plan. Uh, this was about them removing some trees. Oh, yeah, I'm not quite sure why they were removing them. Yeah. So, so they're going to be here at Thursday night's meeting. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would want to know if it's just because they don't want to put the trees in. Because, like, my understanding of that. Then... So, Dutch Valley, when they added up to their warehouse thingy, they, they have 27 evergreen trees. Between the parking lot yeah. and the houses to the north. And they want to take those 27 trees away because, just from what we're getting, is just because they don't want to plant. But they're on the plan. They're, they're on the. Plan. They're on the plan. They're on the plan. That's what yeah. we were wondering if you can read this. I looked at the minutes, the plan minutes, and I didn't put anything down. I mean, I just. But they're locked houses. So. You want to this? Yeah, and there are houses here. So we, Chuck and I were thinking that that was probably and some kind this of. This was prepared. 2021. Oh. This is their last year. Yeah, right? this, was, this was part of a. Original. Uh, no. But now you need to be those at the annual master plan. Oh. And then they came in and revised that master plan and do what they did this last year. Okay. I'm going to assume the way that was done that that was a required landscape buffer. For those houses. For those houses. Okay. I, I, I don't know that exactly. But if John and your letter have to look at the zoning ordinance. Oh, yeah. They saw the zoning ordinance. I would say that for the bike, we have required landscape buffer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of what we thought just from yeah. looking at service like yeah. trees there because it's it's the buffer. Whether it requires it or they just out of it, I can't answer that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's through your Yeah. So now all of a sudden they just don't have those trees, but it's only it's on the plant, record plant. I'm taking a master plan. I mean so I should go back on their last edition would it be one? No. Well, that NASA plan was on before soon. Pre soon. A long time ago. Yes. The master plan was on and then they came in and did the changes yeah. for what they actually did because they had a food to be something totally different. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that food plan. They had, I mean, it was a lot more building yeah. that they had to yeah. close. And they changed that building and parking. Yeah. And we did some things. Yeah. So it happened to be on one of those two is where those trees would change from. Okay. I don't have this in the computer right now. No, I'm, I'm going to assume that that would require landscape buffer we were required. Okay. And now uh, they said they would be here Thursday night. So whether or not they if it's a required landscape buffer, it should have held in your escrow. Um this right. Yeah. If it was required, if it was full required as part of the oh, this the, the land development, then yeah, the, there should have been money held in the escrow accounts. So that cost sheet, right? And it, it might say on there whether that was you could tell, should be able to tell then whether that was a requirement or if it was something they could put. Okay, planning on that before they're saying that. Um, right. Um, I mean, even if you don't find it for Thursday, if they're here, let them say their piece, and then the truck has to go back and do stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just oh, it's not going to They're not going to. Yeah. It should be fine yeah. now, anyway. Yeah, it's, not, it's not on us to provide an immediate yeah. answer to that, right. which we do. That has to happen. And, and like I said, the letter just kind yeah. of says, we don't want time. But there is, you do have residents to that side, which is what makes me think that. Uh, and I think Chuck said these were. 
or something. So yeah, yeah, more than likely it would require an landscape offer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Speaking of Dutch Valley, uh, there was a lot of credit reduction uh, requests. For number two came through. Well, they want that reduction if the trees aren't. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. It takes some of the trees. Yeah. So that now I keep hearing you have more. That means it's in the letter of front. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to put a pin now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, next item is 4050 Conrad Reiser Parkway. There's a variance application. Uh, we received this from the property, like a used car lot, uh, where the used car lot used to be. However, because this is zoned town center, it's not a permitted use. Anymore. So we'll keep an eye on people on that. And one of the other things that we kind of shot around is are they going to be able to do that without having uh, any sort of like sewage facility on site there? Because there is no. Yeah, they used to have to go over the hotel or something. Something. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know, even if they get the zoning, the, the, the variance on that, I don't think they're going to be able to do that yeah. by the nature of not having adequate facilities for it. And to let me know that the zoning here is seven for number seven. If you want to show up, you can. Okay. I probably won't be here, but appreciate it. Um, next item is the municipal tax sheet. We need to let the Berks County Treasurer's Office know our tax rates for real estate, street light, and uh, sewer levy. It also needs to be signed by an elected official. And we can make a high rate of each So we need to kind of backtrack to this after we do the budget review. So let me share my screen. Okay, so the I had a couple of questions for you. Yeah. I did not have the street light and road yep. thing, so I didn't. I didn't have the, yeah, they're yeah. pretty standard. So yeah, um, I focused on getting the uh, um, I left it as a uh, two point seven five mil, which is yep. what we had set last year. Um, we've got a little bit of what I said to Jim. Uh, I found the, the duplicate. Yeah. Um, Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, I was actually going to suggest that we maybe. So we put the screen a little bit easier. I'll just take a photo. Yeah, we can do this. Look at it. Well, here, come, come forward. Gather, gather around the little bit. Uh, so that's uh, basically what we're going to do. We're just going to sit it from the table. So. Thank you. It's getting around the table. Fortunately, it is a very big spreadsheet yeah. because I can't do that into my phone. See everything. One view. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. You can camera there. All right. So I went through and built this out based on what we had for uh, 2023 budget in October. Um, as is, I covered all the four requirements, and we have a surplus right now, and I use that word very loosely, of 48,000. So that's anything to find a new cloud blade or anything else. We've got a little bit of cash space there. What I'd like to do is the same thing we did last time. Go up at line by line. Go through it line by line. I already did. The assessed value change. Yes. Okay. Let's see the yeah. uh, I have to go to the drawing get that paper okay. there. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a piece that I did not have. So yeah. if why not? That's actually getting us revenue. Total assessed value went to 130,129. One, I don't know if I'm going to do it. It's too small. 
correct Yeah. Okay. Sweet spot. <laughs> So that actually gives us. So we have a big jump in the real estate taxes. We still have it. It's, it's not your ends. Yeah. Um, 57. So we've got. Did you look? Did you look at the profit and loss? Um, the the profit and loss budget versus the actual. I have to look at a number because uh, way auditors have me putting things in certain accounts doesn't necessarily go along with what we have in our budget. So yep. you can see this number here, the EIT, or we have it a, a really big different number yep. here than what's here. That's because it, but previously I was putting under the warrant account of 212. Um, yeah, I actually made it up here to ask about that. I have, to, I have to look and I have to, because I have all those numbers, it's, it's in the files now. So, the line, wait, so the line that you underline, that's okay. Yeah, what? The you know, you know, you know the paper that you hand me, and I don't want to do that. You don't need to do that because that's very just No, no, I appreciate that. That is the that's person that the EIT. So this number that I have up here is doesn't make the number that I have on the front list doesn't make sense. Yeah. It might have categorized it under two twelve, but and two twelve doesn't come up on this list. We have, I have to I have to fix that. So I need to go back to that. So that's just a clerical error. That's just a matter of. Reassign it within the computer. So, all right. Um, where are you at now? So, if we're doing, I think the link for is probably okay. Interim tax. It's what the previous site had yeah. like 12, 1200. Per capita taxes. Per capita is, um, we have a little bit more people in yeah. the township, and roughly it's about $6,000 a year. Um, okay, so that's 5000 well, I would budget fifty five hundred because then you have a bunch of people that just don't pay. Gotcha. Yeah, and that was a uh, seems dead. Oh, oh no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so we had we had all this really don't pay any of that you know this mm -hmm. so how would we like to deal with it and it would cost us more to pursue it than it would yeah. generate the revenue. Um, transfer tax. Um, you yeah, have that up there. Yeah. Uh. I, I I leave it at that because there's not that many properties that are being sold. Although a lot of people are telling us that people looking to sell on Main Street. Um, yeah. 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 yeah it's a house, but, um, and then the earned income tax. Again, it, it have to check to see if the number there because I think that was just put over to, to code of accounts. So that's a clerical error, I think. Yeah, I'll just double check that because I thought I already did it, and I guess I didn't. Right. We are on yeah. for, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, you're you're gonna see you're gonna see things a little bit different because of um what the um auditors have us have me do. Yeah, so that's what I'm following what they want me to do. I think it seems to get to trouble every year. So yeah, the public levy when we had Alan was like just about even. Even it was great covered his uh, services, but we're not going to know until yeah. we um. I think twenty five thousand is what we had budgeted. Was that what we budgeted last year? Uh, it's it was thirty five zero. So that we're, now we have to see what the fees are like at Tara. So and that those just started coming in. Well, keep in mind that's the what we're taking in. Yes, from, yes, the month, the yeah, yeah, on the tax bill. Yeah, I think it, um, are we going to change the no, the no, let's leave it for now. So, again, because we have the data and we said we we're going to track the data and see how it works out. Okay, um, so we'll make comments. We got one, one of those. But <laughs> 
It's rare. It's rare. Okay, it, needs, grab, uh, it should be about 14,000 or more this year. So I would anticipate 15,000 is a good number. Um, yeah. Uh, Congratulations, permits. Uh, yeah. Three building permits. Um, we got 170 for this year. We didn't, mm -hmm. uh, didn't budget anything. Um, it's the kind of the next one that we actually have something. Fines and forfeitures, other we had. Oh, quite a bit. Just shy of 6,000 this year. Yeah. Uh, we didn't budget for any income based on that, but I would say we just budgeted a small amount okay. on that since I think we uh, are relatively steady things. Yes. That's the current um, interest on checking. Um, we went to do $50. We got 39. Let's see, but we're either 100 or 130. Mm -hmm. um, you can go conservative and say $100. Yep. Now, savings is going to be a change because we just moved out 200000 So, but the interest rate is still good. I probably, um, do you want to put anything in there? $1,000? Okay. Uh, you don't do anything for us on building, uh, no. American Rescue Plan. Zero. Zero. That looks good. That was there. Yeah. Um, state grants, we're not doing anything with that. So, we're, uh, so emergency reimbursement, we don't have anything budgeted. Uh, recycling grants, it's we just received 17,000 or so. It's going to be 14 something. Oh, okay. I forget the numbers. So, yeah. So, you can be. Uh, we just received, I just I received something else about another recycling grant. Yeah, just so you know, we're getting money. So first thing, so we oh, so I do the recycling grant. Yeah. Then we get an email saying this is how much you're gonna get. Okay. Then later we get an email that's saying now you're gonna get it. Okay. And then we get it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Licenses. We got one, two fifty. The premium one one. Or in fire insurance is the fourteen five nine nine thirty two. That's a relatively fixed. Yeah, it's a for you. And review fees. Um, we made a little more this year, but I'm going to suggest yeah. we still leave it at 2,000. Uh, zoning permits, uh, we had a little more than that, but I'm going to suggest we leave it at 3,000. I can be a huge amount of zoning. Sure. Yeah, we'll zoning uh, ordinances, 25 bucks. I'd actually just get rid of that out. Um, and it's for one permit and higher revision uh, review. Uh, but it is 1,000. We got to the thousand after we had close to three thousand, but that's three of the model ones. I can guarantee you. Uh, building permits, uh, we're going to see, I'm sure, a slowdown on building permits. We had budgeted twenty five thousand dollars for 2023. We've seen about sixteen thousand ish come through. I suggest that we that at either twenty or if you said doing fifteen. Mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'd leave it at, uh, you want to do 22,000? You want to do 22? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I have the most updated, we actually was like close to 32,000. Oh, okay. Yeah, I sent you an email, it went through the yeah. web thing. Yeah. So we had, we had a little bit of a bump up, and I think people start to do a little bit in different projects towards the winter time. Mm -hmm. So, like the permits, five hundred bucks, yeah. about the same prior years. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we have left it at 2000 We didn't have any use for nobody applied for support this year. Uh, porch and deck permits, uh, we had to be, do at least one of those. Yeah. Like when it, came, it got to be a little bit confusing with what details you have on the computer. So we had to create a code of account for those specific things. So okay. it made it a lot easier to track the data. So if we could start seeing a lot more. Yeah. So, all yeah. Program, except for coding. Yeah. 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 Um, contract and mowing PA is a relatively fixed fee, yeah. 1600 bucks. I think it's super cool. Yeah, uh, the sale of recyclable material, we made a little bit of money, but we don't have a little bit for it. Um, sewage administration has so, been nothing out of that good of account. No, no, because it, it works more as, as the pass through. Um, that should be under um, 429. We'll, you'll see that we, we bumped it up. Uh, I should say that's the way it is in my computer because of how it goes. Up. Once we get there, it's our right. So there's 429, 429.1. Yeah. Yeah. The pump out levy. Yeah. 
So those are those two just connected? No, no, no. no. Okay. So well, we'll go we'll, we'll this way. It's 4.9 to 4.9.1. Do yeah. they equal what we have up in the end? Or should they balance out that way? Um, it should be seven, yes, seven yes, three. yes. This does this. When do you have a chance, I need you to sit down with me at the computer and just um, review the computer because this is weird. Um, all right, go ahead, sir. So, uh, anything else it gives us a total revenue anticipated in 2024 of $601,506.55. Okay. So, we go down to this section, I kept this largely the same. Actually, drop drop this down. Yeah. But based on actuals for the year. But this means meetings and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, payroll service and expense, pretty steady. pretty steady. You've got a two thousand. That's, that's going to go up. Okay. Yeah. That's payroll. So, NCR Jeff Pay and Sarah, whatever they're called, they want to put I signed. Mm -hmm. They finally migrated all the stuff to the ISOL software. Mm -hmm. And the invoice that we got is like double. It used to be like three hundred nine ish dollars, but so this one's like 44. So we're, we're going to have- This is the first pay period that this happened at. So oh, it's, got, it's going to be- I don't it's, know. It stays that way for the next couple of pay periods. We look at a new payroll. Yeah. Is it basically almost so I'll, I'll put that at four thousand instead of two thousand. I'd rather have it, yeah, but it is not not using the other way around. Again, we're so uh, starting mm -hmm. off with like 3260 because mm -hmm. the more people, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's just people for the yeah. Uh, and this was not an exceptionally, I think we had what four or five people payroll, so yeah. it wasn't like a, a huge month, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, contribution to employee benefit is funded uh, $5,879.04. Our year-to-date through October 26th. Well, what do you want? Uh, line 80, so it's this one here. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, 420. I don't even know why that this isn't even printed out on my hard copy. It's so weird. Uh, but yeah, that was, uh, that's the um, pension plan contribution. But again, like I know that was a used code account. Yeah, so if it goes over to that contribution to play benefits, I mean, I hate that on um, my thing here. I don't know why the computer does this stuff. Um, we have to make sure, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, make sure it's, yeah, it's a proper ducky day. Um, but that, that number is what's Contributed to the pension plan. So that's the pension contribution right there. Okay. So I'm getting confused. I'm like, your numbers and my numbers are the same here. Postage, postage goes up. We haven't hit that budget yet, but I need the budget the same. So yeah. postage. Yeah. But that postage yeah. services for whatever reason, but at least. That is, um, that is the um, notary. Okay. Um, Communication, telephone, and internet is twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. That is uh, advertising three thousand views and subscriptions. I took a count of it. We've not used a whole lot of that recently. Mm -hmm. um, conferences and meetings. Uh, left it at five fifty. We haven't used a lot of that recently. Yeah, this is an aside. We have to join the PA municipally. I keep on forgetting to do that. Next one is auto wages. We have this hundred bucks, typically just hundred bucks every year. Yeah. Uh, tax collection commissions. Uh, this was added up above what we had in the budget. Um, that is uh, fourteen something. So I suggest that we budget fifteen thousand next year. Yeah. Um, based on the, the trend of growth, tax collection supplies raise that fifty bucks. So it's three hundred. 
Um, Can you scroll down? Yeah. Like, like make sure that like, goes to the top of the screen. Yeah, bro, it's easy. <laughs> um, yeah. General government of law, practical services, so attorney fees. Uh, so just the reason that's at 60. It was budgeted as 40 last year. We saw it significantly now. Um, where you're at for November numbers, how will, how are we looking in your day after for 40431? Okay, so 40431, 60,000. I'm at 60,000. 60. Uh, so, 60 right, so you should probably have to put that to 70 or 70. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have we, yeah, so we haven't even gotten to where we need to get. Yeah, yeah. Uh, salary center. So okay, so what happens is when I'm doing another portion of the QuickBooks, if that is assistant secretary plus effect, right? It's combined. It's not. It's not broken out on the computer. I can break it out if you want me to. Um, I mean, if you can. Yeah. All right. Else. So so I'll have to go back and because it gets. Because there's other stuff to have to take in order for the reconciliation, but I will do that moving forward. Yeah. Um, Either way, we're still subject. Oh no, no, I can't because on the master payroll sheet it says one unit. It gives it to me as one solid. I'll show you again. It's a clerical thing. So if you combine the two amounts, it's just we we'll just stop there. Yeah. Um, is the, the combined total of the two thousand? Yeah. Between the two? Yeah. Correct. Salary of part time treasurer, Dan got the minimum also the two thousand, just in case we do have time for Dan to come in and help that. Yeah. Um, we have uh, to do We get 300, suggested 400 for next year. Convention, we always budget 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's use, sometimes it isn't. Yeah. Uh, secretary supplied. That needs, to, that needs to go up. So, are are we looking at supplies in the right way? Actually, are there other. We could so, take, you're talking about paper, we're talking about all kinds of stuff, um, equipment. So, some of the equipment might yeah. be in other codes yeah. of accounts, for example, but the, the example of like paper, pens, posted notes, yeah. whatever, that would be this staplers, right. whatever. But all kinds um, of things get used in the office. Yeah. So. Well, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then that, that kind of covers it yeah. Yeah, between the two. And for office equipment, we also have a talent now. Yeah. Right. So just to, just to side note for you, we're having a Minor issues with the copier. Okay. Big copier? Mm -hmm. Okay. They did replace the, what do you call it, the finishing, finishing. thing. Yeah. It's still making the same noise. Yeah. When he initially came in to look at it, he said, I think you're going to need a copy. We just got that. Well, but it's used. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then he looked at the number of copies on and he's like, yeah, this is kind of old. I'm like, oh. He but he sold it to us. Yeah. 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 And you said we get some good time out. So I mean we're okay with the main noise it makes because it worked better now. It was it was like jamming a lot. Mm -hmm. And it was okay to jam, but it was telling us it was jammed. So it hasn't done that since I want to say that too far. Yeah, it's a little bit. Um that may be something of mark this of different colors that we can back to it. But maybe something we allocate some more stuff into. Uh, insurance and bonding stays the same. Uh, bank charges, but three hundred dollars in the case. But I could explain some of the bank charges. Yeah. Our mammal, whatever has happened, this is two, maybe even three months in a row now. People are not getting our our bills, <laughs> our, our payments. So I've had to pull a couple of our agencies and say, "Hey, you didn't get the." Like what's going on? I sent this out both in two weeks so they didn't receive it. So that's why they're having some late charges. Yeah. Weird. It's it it no, it's frustrating. I mean, it's, right. Yes. Yeah. That's, that is weird because like usually mail is pretty dependable for the mail and gets Well, we don't get it. Yes. <laughs> My experience. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 
but that's why the I O C is trust me, I I would like that to be zero, but yeah, well, the mail, so the reality of it is do they waive some of those fees if you total that? Like, no, not the person with the credit if the credit card can be absolutely not. They won't if yeah. they wait. Oh, besides I have checks with them sometimes if you get those. Can you pay some of those bills online or on um you can't pay the credit card? card. Yeah, the credit card, card is the credit card. Yeah, and, and we use it in order to pay some of the things like we get a, a bill for but you have to and they're like they don't care. And they switch companies too. So mm -hmm. I'm on the third iteration of who is on this credit card company. Yeah. So so it's Municipalities not the one we got the credit cards that we pay stuff, mail as much stuff. Evidently, the majority of those charges are we mail the check out to the credit card to pay the bill. All the credit card companies, uh, so you call the credit card company, I have to transfer out of our um checking account, and I'm not so sure. So, I have authorizations to do that. Okay. We can, make, we can make a motion to be correct. Right. Uh, yeah. If that was avoid, yeah, I'm just saying that's yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if that's if that's a relatively yeah. simple thing that we could do to, to avoid, you can do online banking, you can see postage and long other. Yeah, but, no, but, with, but the problem is, is the record keeping. Yeah, yeah. it's not it's not a personal type of thing, it's the record keeping. Yeah, it's like two signatures on right, and that's and that's yeah. a problem. Awesome. And that's that's why we do it this way. Yeah, certain so, certain thing you can use that right. with like like the Comcast bill that it's a structural recurring thing. We can prove it in the text. Right. But when you have highly variable stuff, right. you can't you can't legally give it that blanket approval for like right. you're just gonna pay this right. no matter what it and is. And so that's essentially what the credit card is used for it's those weird little miscellaneous fees. It's used for the UCC payments. Right. Because it's online only, it's used for PA one call because it's fifty cents, and it costs me more to stick it in the envelope and write out the check than it would for it to be paid by credit card. But yes, I'll yeah. I'll see what I can do to do this work first. Yeah, and, and that's if that's we if we can do that, we'll talk to Colin. Yeah. We'll make sure that it's, it's, it's okay, okay yeah. to do, it, and then we'll just do it. Yeah. Um. Okay, but I'm still going to leave that as three hundred dollars as a safety net. Um. Engineering, other services, uh, as of the end of October, that was 88,000. That is the night of terror. Yes. It's up to 99,000. Okay, so it should be more than. Um, no, I think 100,000 is pretty much what I had to do you're aware of anything else coming in. Um, because now there's some breakout with that for just those last things we got. Yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that, yeah. So that's what we have to lose a little over the bills. Yeah, yeah. we get some yeah. SEO stuff from them. So that being broken. Yeah, out. so it's that's yeah, so it's getting consolidated yeah. in a different code. Yeah. Um some of that, if I'm not mistaken, will come back with the LSA grant because that's like the grant and stuff. Yeah. Did. So that's that number is scarier than it actually is. Yeah. Um yeah, I have to I have to because I I always use 408.31 for yeah. the tariff. So I have to have you sit down with me on the computer so we can look and bring up each thing. Okay. Um, for that, for the Act 537 engineering, I think that is 75,000. Building supplies, 500 bucks. That's toilet paper, paper towels, cleaner, soap, hand sanitizer, et cetera. Um, Actually, it's, it's other things. But no, I mean, it's it's a yeah, broad, yeah. It's a broad category. If you think yeah. that, no, it's not where you are we going to need more? Bills, it's been out of my case. Yeah, yeah, it's a good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, building small tool and minor equipment uh, was previously five hundred. I suggest we raise yes. that thousand. Um, we had some other charges for other services and charges around the building. Um, that's kind of just a weird follow up that might be just in one of accounts too. Yeah, but there's so many things. It's like, where the heck do I put this? Yeah, that's um, sometimes it's hard to find them. That might have been. I don't think it was that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look yeah. it up. The bottom line is, I'm not recommending that we start really yeah. with that type of account. Yeah. Um, transportation, there's plenty box there. There was something that was retrieving salt for the yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it is that was that for the go to Martin's getting sold for the software. 
Okay, so surely building related, I tossed it in over here. I made the plumber here because we yeah a few problem plumbing issues, and that might have been the other services. Yeah, that, that probably yeah. that makes sense. Um, utilities and gas, I left it at four thousand. Yep. Uh, electric, I raised to twenty five hundred because I know that's electricity is unfortunately going up. Yep. Uh, building repairs and maintenance, I left it at eight thousand. Um, I'd like to recategorize that. So, I would say repair and maintenance. Let's drop that down to twenty five hundred because we have to account for things. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Do we, have, do we have a vote for that? Um, professional services, other. Well, it would be in four hundreds or something. Um, it'd be near where the solicitor will. Other charges professional one four four point three one. Okay. So we have to stick in another uh, eighty five hundred in there. Okay, so I'll call that uh, eighty. I'm going to start with eighty five. Okay. So that's where the also group would fall into, unless we have a different code of accounts. We get something like that, so we could. I mean, we, can, we, we can always pull up the data. We can say how much we could buy. Yeah. So that's not a based point. based on the two things being sort of functionally distinct. I would say let's for the exercise that we're doing right now, lump the two of them together. Okay. Let's split it out into two separate codes of account because we're going to be able to more track the data which thing what. You'll have to tell me when you could sit at the computer with yeah. it. Does everyone have to sleep this morning? So everybody's um, when we started. It's, Everybody it's like so cool. I mean, I like this stuff and I just like sit there and I don't sleep. Okay. Uh, repairs and maintenance we changed down to twenty five hundred. Yep. Um, the police Please. and other services okay. I put that at seventy. As we discussed uh, during the meeting, it's at fifty nine. But I figured yep. there could be other requests we have. Other yes. Tasers. So it's the tasers, which comes to just under uh, five thousand this year. Yep. Plus, we seem to be giving them about twenty five hundred dollar a year. Just yeah. good faith contribution to this. Yes. And fuel and all this. Stuff. Yeah. Everything, everything's getting more expensive all the time, which sucks. But okay. It is what it is. So if you're comfortable with 70, we're going to yeah. do 70. Um, the foreign fire relief is a pass through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the public safety, fire uh, safety services, and other charges, I bumped that up to 4,500. We saw more this year. Kind of that's, uh, is that, that's the radio maintenance, isn't it, for John? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think that's an annual type of a thing, but okay. I guess we that. I mean, yeah. I, again, we don't need it. Yeah. Uh, line 41154 is actually a duplicate of line 411. The uh, public safety fire contribution fire company that was previously okay. budgeted as the 149932 for foreign fire. Okay, so you can eliminate it again. That's yeah. probably an accounting thing and have everything in detail on the other. Yeah, no, like yeah. no, we have to just review it. Yeah. So you could bring your laptop and we could yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, them. We'll go yeah. Uh public safety ambulance services and charges. Uh that was previously budgeted as 15. We've not had it anywhere near that use, so I believe it down to eight. So that is a charge that we get from the county, mm -hmm. and um that's just a straight rate for the 911 service call. Okay. So that should, like, what is this? What is well, this? We watched it last year. It was $12,958.33. In each of the categories, fire, ambulance, police, it's a yeah. county level charge. I'm saying just around $20,000. Okay. So um, that's what that number is about. So do you have the budget for last year on that? It's 12.30. That's, what That's it. Yeah. yeah. So so the, the budget was twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty-eight dollars and thirty-three cents. And so that's a county level charge. What was the stuff on that? Uh 33 cents. Okay, that's the same. Yeah, that's a county charge. For fire, that was that should have been um that's the number that you had four one one point three zero. That is okay. Yep. Then that's that number. Um you could you could bring whatever it was previously. So okay. So you 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 missed that for us. Four eleven point five four should not be. It should be four eleven point oh one because that's a foreign fire relief. The contribution is the county taxing is the county bill that we get for EMS dispatch. 
EMS fire and police system. So, so hold on. So part eleven fifty four is the EMS dispatch. And that's that's the dispatch. Okay. So it shouldn't be the foreign fire relief. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the yeah. Thing. So, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So okay, because account because the auditors have the yeah, yeah. 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 okay. Okay, so that's okay. So that number public safety fire the four eleven fifty four, which what should that be? Um I have the total it's the total one second. I think the total I have to look that up. I don't have the particular breakouts. Um, on the fire, I have what has been charged is 4,100. Here, here's another here. The fire that's been charged already. But I also have this number because that's that I know that's the county number. So that 419. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in as fire. Yeah. EMS. Yeah. And that's, that's yeah. fire other charges. Yeah. But I want to say that charge, that total charge is over $20,000 this year. That's a county level bill. I think you want to lease as a partner. So if you're looking at the 12,950, yeah, let's put yeah. the purposes map call that 13. Yep. Yeah. The other one is four. Yeah. 17. So the other one has to be 3,000. Yeah. 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 Nothing for EMS radios and cost or budget. Um, uh, we lease them. Uh, I think I agree. Yeah, yeah, um, they're great. We're great. Yeah, <laughs> uh, UCC and code enforcement 200 bucks. Yeah, Again, uh, planning and zoning. We saw a decrease in that based on decreases in. in Need so I heard thirty thousand. Okay. Previously budgeted forty four. Yep. Um. Uh, professional services and zoning. We've not had any billing against that, so I knocked that down from two thousand to one thousand. Did you? You oh, okay. Okay. emergency management. Other. Uh, we didn't have anything budgeted, or we had one hundred and ten dollars used. Um, but like the whole category, well, it's the whole, okay. There yeah, we go, yeah. yeah. Quite um, so the emergency management program we had last year budgeted five. He's asking for an increase to 7,500, and he can even use up all this year's and let him know, yeah. Um, okay. Um, mileage and the box, John, it's not what's mileage. He did, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he went to a conference and he had to stay in a hotel and yeah. Okay. I mean, from human services, we hadn't budgeted something for this category. Um was 420. Um, it's it's 7,500. Yeah. I don't know if that should be put into a different category. But um I figured if we spent that, it needs to be absorbed somewhere to put ten thousand dollars placeholder until we can figure that out. Okay. Um Recycling collection and disposal. Um, what is this? I don't. I don't even which, know. Like, Four twenty. Like what? Uh, I don't know either. It must got spikes. Yeah. In, in her event. Yeah. In recycling collection and disposal. I didn't have anything budgeted or approved for that. Uh, sewage enforcement officer. We had budgeted twelve thousand five hundred. Plus 5,500 views at the end of October. So now, now that's up to uh, 6,284. Okay, so 7,000. Yeah. Okay, fair ass. Yeah. Uh, so we can start pump out money, 3,000. Let's see, we talked about earlier. Okay. We slang, oh, okay. 10. Okay. So uh, that matches up with pump out money in revenue. Highway to other personal services, 1,000 in there. Didn't really use much to get this year. Operating supplies, 3,500. Supplies, repairs and maintenance for highways, 5,000. We need something, 2,000. We need something. 
Well, that's so specifically that's because uh, we're up to over six thousand. Yeah. Let's do you go. Okay, are you comfortable with seventy five? Yes. There's so much stuff in this job. Yeah, capital purchase with the truck. That's nineteen hundred dollars a month for nineteen hundred times a month. Yeah. Five right. and then well, I guess not. I think it was yeah. yeah. It's twenty three thousand eight hundred specific. It it um I budget twenty three thousand because it's like nine hundred dollars ninety six cents. Okay. But two for twenty three thousand, but it's, it's pretty precise. Yeah. And then go back to the one real quick. The highway capital purchases. Yeah. Um Dave, Dave mm -hmm. Um he had asked about getting a new plow because the other mm -hmm. big plows mm -hmm. started to not be good. Where did we end up with that? Was that like thirty thousand for the plow or was it like twenty thousand for the plow? Oh it's closer to twenty. Closer to twenty. Okay. So I'm gonna split the difference between say 25 and hopefully we'll be happily surprised. But we at some point the big plow um it's not the right plow for that truck and they had to do some things to modify yeah. it and it's just getting old and kind of warped. So whether it's this upcoming year or the following year, yeah. we're gonna to have to replace the plow. Um, I have a feeling if we do have a lot of snow this year, we're gonna to have to do it much sooner rather than later. So I'd rather kind of have that in when, when on the old way. Yeah. This just uh, three, four weeks ago, we had that little go show. I did ask uh, one of the places down there, and uh, they said uh, that the plot they had there was mm -hmm. looking fine. The plot itself was probably on the third. But then we had put the Cleaning the streets and gutters up to fifteen hundred. Yeah. That typically goes up. Uh, winter maintenance other by the five hundred five dollars for that. Um, we are on. 432. Okay. So 4032.15 doesn't have anything. It's on highways. So I guess we So okay. previously. I put lots of that. Okay. 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 Uh, it's not ice and removal supplies. supplies. We've been doing anything on liquid fuels because yeah. we get the salt out of liquid fuels. Yes. Okay. Um, Gene Rowell. Been doing that. Yep. Uh, practical devices. Um, we had previously budgeted five thousand. Wait a second. Um, Winter maintenance other. Four thirty two. Oh, there we go. Um, twenty thousand dollars of previous budget. That's and that's that's here. The oh okay machine. Yeah, you and I have different meters here. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. We, we need to street signs and markings. So the traffic control devices was a purchase. Oh, where are you? Do you want to budget anything for winter maintenance or other? I mean, we don't really do much, but no, we haven't. Games, that's all the stuff. Okay, so you can figure that out. Okay. Um, traffic control devices. This is what we had budgeted for getting the uh, speed signs. You're right. The digital speed signs. Um, if we want to buy another one, yeah. Okay, so I'll zero that out. Um, yeah, we need to increase the street signs. Yeah. So um, um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, repair of tools and machinery. Other four thousand. Repair of highway tools and machinery. Three thousand. So I need you to help me go through. It comes to maintenance. Could some of that be? Um, 437 versus 430.25. I need you to help me with your matter. So, uh, 430.25 is the capital purchases that could just be just the truck. Well, um, 430. 430.25 is just easy. No, not, not on the computer. It's okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
So I have yeah, and flights. There's two that have the same. Yeah. So what, is, what do you have for highways and capital purchases? Capital purchases is 430.74. Capital purchases. Yeah. So we don't have a general capital purchases anymore. No. That one could be eliminated. That's that's the trunk. Correct. Yes, yeah, so that should be should be four thirty. Four thirty point five hours per day. Yeah. I need you to look and help me have this because I get dinged by the auditors and some of this stuff. So I need you to help me look over this. Yeah. So and some of that could be overlapping. We have budgeted four thousand. I leave it at four thousand. Take a look at tools and machinery, three thousand. Uh, highway wages. Um, this one we actually probably won't bring up. Um, Where are you? What number? Uh, four number three eight fifteen. So that needs to be four hundred fifty-five thousand. Four hundred fifty-five thousand. Supplies. Um, Again, I need you to. Some of the stuff, if, if looking through everything in detail, could those be, is, you know, am I miss assigning a chart of accounts to certain things? So, yeah. Some of, some of this is going to be to get yeah. top look at. It's like, like, you know, if this is quick and. Yeah. I have a feeling yeah. 53, 58 to get moved to one of the other codes. Or. The, the, no, no, the, uh, the amounts of 4020. Yes. Yeah. That, that total of 453. Yeah. Um, it's probably it's sitting from the wrong place. Um, we'll do it in the evening whenever you're available. Just, so, yeah. Uh, maintenance and repair of roads and bridges, other. Um, that was something that needed to be purchased specifically for the court. Ah, okay. Issue. Yes, so that's what I'm going to find out there. Yeah. Future times. Uh, highway construction. Um, this is where we had budgeted my general fund previously for the road work. Um, I didn't put anything in there yet. So, so I thought under 439 in general, um, I have a budget of 43,000. There it is. Yeah. 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 So, we budgeted it. So, it's, it's, if we're going to do the, we're not going to do Mary and Jarekis, it's the sewer line. Is going to be coming out of the field. So, okay, so we're going to have to close this up. We're right. the red. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, park and recreation, 5,000. I'll bring that down to 2,000. Okay, right. so you, you guys don't have to take, <laughs> take a lot of money yet. Oh, we but well, we're going to be because we have some of the play that we need to do over there. Would you be able to talk about So basically, we need to spend it. Really Essentially, yeah, that's what what it is. If it's if it's not spent, it just get pulled. Okay, over the patch, you chose us all to be there. Well, no, it's it's not like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's there. Uh, three. So three years ago, um, so were, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm not fond of the other. We're gonna have to go through it, we're gonna have to pinch. Yeah, the Dynatex and Walsh, yeah, wow, uh, that's actually that's actually a good point. Dynatex is expensive, um, yeah, yeah, but I mean, we got a button for yeah. it here. Uh, yeah, so, you know, from yeah, I want to try to get some funding externally for some of that stuff too. But okay, so let's let's leave it at five thousand for now and see what we got. Um, Social Security Township Chair, uh, we had much of five thousand as of late in October. That was seven thousand. Uh, so I pushed that up to eight thousand. Uh, Secretary Contribution Benefits, um, budget six thousand. I put six thousand again. Um, insurance premiums. Um, I actually couldn't find the original budget for that. We had it as a year. 486. So that is. 486. Uh, no, no, no. no, no. Yeah. Um, we previously budgeted, oh, I don't know, 38,131 year to date. So 40,000. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um,
communication website and multimedia. I had reduced that down to 4,000 from 5,000. Um, we've spent about 3,000 out of that so far this year. The civic cost. Yeah, it's the cost. Yeah. Um, and so far, we've spent $3,000. This is just Mark's contribution. I assume that's the donations. That's the donations. Um, we could drop that if we need to. I, I mean, it's. We'd be dropping it by an amount that we can take a small sliver out of the, the, the deficit. Um, <laughs> so what, what's what's not in here is the refunds of payments. Yeah. And that's, that's something that does not pull up on this because it's not part of the profit and loss. Yeah. So so with the, the refund of payment, you can see that on the other side. Right, but it's for whatever reason it will not put it into this system. Yeah, I'm speaking. Um, I would say it's about twenty thousand dollars for this year. But, but we had budget for this yeah. year. Yeah. Are we getting, we're not going to get the same level of recovered funds next year. It all depends what projects people do. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, yeah. some of that wasn't wasn't this with the stone crop? So yeah, yeah. yeah. the stone crop would be. Oh, which is like some of it was just the general past stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's here's the beginning of the fun part of the meeting where we need to go through now and figure out how to shave off basically six thousand dollars worth of stuff. How many million um, was there? Um two point seven that, that, that that's a two point seven five. Um, awesome. yeah, in order to get to Basically, three point five. We have the most increase in I think one girl would give you like ten thousand. It's about ten thousand. It's really not not deep. Um, if anything, you're being extremely conservative. Uh, yeah, and I don't know if you're going to be extremely conservative. I know you don't want to raise taxes, but yeah, the cost of everything else is going up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it might be a situation. I don't think I want to go to three point five, Mike. I want to split the difference if we do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you this last year. Yeah. And I didn't. Did he uh, know something actually said to me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our, our local property tax is such a small yeah. percentage yeah. Um, that uh, somebody came in here and was complaining about taxes. I'm like, talk about school tax. Yeah. Like, I can't change that. Yeah. Calls. Yeah, but this the, the especially the yes. Why am I paying all this tax money? And I say, okay, is it from anything I say? Do tax for school. Okay, this is the this is the school. Yeah, it's yeah. not one single Yeah, this school that you need to complain to the school. Yeah. Okay, so hypothetically, let's say we raise it to three dollars, three five. That would put us another forty thousand in the coppers, which would be now. Okay. She just gave three fifteen. Mm -hmm. It's easy for me to say. Okay. Yeah, it's easier. You can go to me all. I like it. Yeah, they increased. I should have read the most. Yeah, that's the second. And I didn't have anybody more than me. Yes. So our previous budgets went. <laughs> Have been potentially about to receive a grant. That is included. Okay. Are we even supposed to have the same grants on here? Uh, absolutely. Even if it's exempted, yes, because none of the grants that we were, some, some of the only grants we were tested on receiving. Let me ask the service. Let me assume we have enough authority that we are going to get it. No, but our, well, what I've seen, we have grants in our older budget that we have. But all the grant money being spent in. Yeah. Right. It's hard. 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 People will be receiving one hundred five thousand. Yeah, we got. 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 Y
this year or next year? Susan. So once you set up the account, then you can start invoicing for the money, but you can't list the invoice for the entire house. Okay. But will that be will those funds be received for 2024? I think by the time the account is set up, that is that will be next. Okay. Well, I've got good news then. It would be the all safe right for all 38. Okay. Should you just spend more than ninety thousand dollars? Right. Right. So I I would almost. It's all set. Yeah. So does that does that hundred five balance out that SCE? I would have a bill. Yes. Okay. But it is really balancing it out. You're going to get one hundred five thousand dollars in. Yeah. Income, but you're going to spend it all with a right. Well, if that's the new right now, that's that's the yeah, new plastic. So, like 2024, we're spending it all on getting well, it's going to be right, yeah. right. We yeah. know that, but in order to balance the budget, so we can be right. We're spending 95, we're spending $100,000 in the state of $100,000. So, that part of the zero is out. But we know there's going to be other keys from that. Absolutely. And we're hoping to complete some keys more grades as it makes progress. Now, we, we don't have a choice in that matter. Then we need to keep it. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we've got G's. I think the fees are accurate now. Yeah. Which means that we have the ability to allocate more. We want to allocate more on like the sewage management stuff, Act 537. Just, just leave the words out. Okay, because we have a surplus of 38,000. Just leave it. Just like it's an actual plus, we're going to be unpredictable. So I, I would leave it where it is. And again, it, again, it's my fault. I didn't go through uh, the budget as we progress over here. So I need someone to, I need you to yell me. I mean, let's go through the budget. Let's go through some. We have to do it at least. We should be doing it every meeting, if not every other meeting. Yeah. And it's, it's my fault because. Again, the biggest clerical error that I see is the stupid EIT. Yeah. And that's, I guess, that's the thing. Oh, me. Can I throw one more thing along with this? Yeah. I have had several, I mean, probably more like about 20 or 30 yeah. people from Stone Cross that are talking to the HOA and asking me. To take over roads and streets. They can't. Well, as soon as everything transferred from the HOA, they're feeling is that why not? Why can't it's you? because it's in that document that it can mm -hmm. never happen. Tell them they're going to want the document changed. Well, then they're going to have to do the legal fees to yeah. fight us yeah. against that. I mean, yeah. But that, that's been coming up now recently that, you know, because of costs to the homeowners there. They pay taxes and they get nothing for it. They do get things for it just because they're I know, they, but, they the don't, but they don't get right. any roads, they don't get any street lights, they don't get anything that everybody else does. And so I've had several, several, several. That's several, right. Several. They live in the community. They sign up. So, right. Well, no, I'm just telling you, yeah. 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 one of your meetings. Right. That's, that's a piece of the argument. I've had people say to me, well, I don't have children, why should I pay for school taxes? Well, you pay for school taxes because those people that go to school become your doctors, they become your mailman, they become your garbage collectors, they become all the things in your community that you need. So that argument doesn't, for me doesn't hold, hold water. All right, and but, I, well, right. Account, I can understand yeah. the frustration of me too. you're paying into the greater municipal pool thing. One way right. is included is like snow removal, right. and then you don't get to use it. Right. So I, I get it. I get so, Association, they would know would they the, the requirement of that being a 55 plus community would, would vanish. Uh, you have all kinds of people eligible, and then they have even the sidewalks there, right? Because that's required. See, that's still not part of it. There's people in there. Well, no, because there's you allow allowed... nobody, nobody that owns the house. No, there are some but I'll just those people in right. the oh. under 55 plus communities, you could have up to 20 percent that are at least age 40 with the minimum child age of, of 19. 
So again, that's all within the 55 plus community. So there'd be no longer an HOA. Someone would have to pay for the maintenance of, of all the greenery. Someone would have to pay for the maintenance of, of the building. So there's pluses and minuses with that. And, and I mean, say, I agree with Peter and Sue, you signed up for it. You moved to that community. You signed on the document that you reviewed it, that you understood these things. If you don't like it, your options are to move. So there's pluses and minuses with all the other options. Right. What they're considering is let's just move on. Huh? I don't know. Huh? I don't know they do that. Yeah. Submit something to do it, but right now we're talking about the budget. Yeah, and we yeah, just yeah. on with the budget. So if we're okay with leaving that, or like I said, putting the thirty-eight one to a line somewhere like miscellaneous or something like that, so that we have a balanced budget, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, so we'd only have a surplus of eighty-five cents. Okay. When we when we do that. Okay. Um, roads, uh, the fuel allocation. I didn't know what that was going to be. Um, oh, that's about the same. No, yeah. about that. So that's that's that. Yep. Um, and then I figured that really roughly the same sort of spending that we budget yes. four hundred thousand. Yeah. For that, and then the only thing that I would need from you, Irene, is what the current account balances are. So I can get the projections. We don't have to do that right now. I'll have um, to the Thursdays. Well, you're we'll send it Thursday. send it to me for a check to get, and I'll update it. Send it back to you so you have it for Thursday. It has to be accepted Thursday. Uh, yes. It must be. Yes. Yeah. Has to be. It has accepted. to be. And then it has to be advertised. Yes. And it must be adopted by the center. Yes. Yeah. So it must be. So okay. or your center meeting early. Yeah. No, no. I honestly think you only face it here. And have a little pad in here because uh, any issues. Well, we have we have a little bit of money sitting in the job. Five bills is not going to affect anybody or more than yeah. 50 bucks a year. 50 bucks a year is a prescription. 50 bucks a year is a lot for some people. Yeah, well, well, so is $100,000 for a year and $100,000. Yeah. So, it's just right to where it is. Yeah. So, it's not going to be a lot of money. So, it's not going to be a lot of money. It's not going to be a lot of money. It's not going to be a lot of money. It's not going to be a lot of money. It's not going to be a lot of money. It's not going to be a lot of money. It was not going to be a lot of money. It was not going to be a lot of money. It was not going to be a lot of money. It was not going to be a lot of money. It was not going to be a lot of money. It was not going to be a lot of money. It was not going to be a lot of money. That's a lot for my parents because they want a very fixed income and $140, you know, however you want to split it up is still money out of their pocket with the rising cost of everything else. So I'm not willing to raise the village until and unless. It's it, so, yes. Yeah. Um, okay. So with that said, do you have any other deep roads for this year? Uh, $400,000. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, well, I mean, Hopefully that's, that's always been the case here. Yeah. And we're going to figure it out when it's so, so, so it's always been the case that the roads are getting progressive. Well, over right. Yeah. Let's talk to Chuck. I'm going to talk to Charlie. I'm going to talk to Fulton Bank again. And we're working with Kimberly, has been wonderful in helping us find grants. We're going to continue that relationship. We're going to do what we can. And if we have to take out a loan that might cost us about $25,000 a year or $50,000 a year, we'll, 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 we'll cross that bridge. We'll get there. Yeah. Once we have more information, because I'm, I'm just seeing my thought, yeah. if, you, if you're yeah. doing this a little bit at a time, well, I don't want to. Over the next few years, I don't want to slowly. Then you're not going to. Then you're not going to enter the point where, like, four years from now, you go raise two mils of tax. Don't kill us. The, the goal here is to avoid having to raise taxes at all, let alone raising like two mils all at once. But if we don't have to do that this year, all the better. If we look at it right. next year, we we have right. let's say we did Sherry right. run the other Sherry run, and that's all we can afford to do. We go. Next year we have three more rooms we gotta do. We don't have the kind of funding that we need. Something has to come out of the this year. Yeah. 200000 dollars is federal money. Mm -hmm. so, yep. It isn't coming back. Yep. That's so you gotta keep in mind that two hundred thousand dollars was a gift yep. that you're not getting this year, and you're gonna have expenses that are gonna be at least the same, if not more. 
Yeah, and, uh, that was, we got a hundred and something thousand out of 2023. And got in, yep, that's it was it's, a little over two hundred two thousand dollars You know, it's not going to be there yep. going forward. But, um, yep. What do you guys do? You do? Street lights? Street lights is the same thing. Okay, so yeah. can you give me the account balances. I yep. will update that. And as long as everybody, Sue, Irene, Jim, Melissa, everybody's comfortable with that as the budget. Um, I'll update the figures on the main page there, but that would be our draft budget for consideration of Thursday night to be enough. Just make sure you get a copy of it. I will it. put it out on the Google Drive. Okay. Are you going to put it on the documents in Thursday? Yes. It has to, it no, has it has to be accepted. It has to be accepted and advertised Thursday night, and then at December's meeting, you adopt it. So it's just going to be you and I, Jim. Yeah, I'm unfortunately going to be on the plane. Just make sure you mark it 2024 yep. proposed. I think the biggest issue that the township's going to be facing is that obviously going to be the sewer project. Yeah. So, and there's the cost associated with that. Yeah. Okay. That is the last agenda item. Uh, so there should be something where everybody's on board with that. The tax rates for real estate street light sewer funding would stay the same 2023 to 2024. Um, I'll make a motion to have Irene complete and sign that. Second. What do you mean? Please sign what? The uh, municipal tax sheet. Back to the previous uh, agenda. Lines. Okay. okay, that's fine. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I, I'd like if you do your data sure. the budget and then that everything yeah. together and then people are okay. Yeah, no uh supervisors comments. I have no comments. I read. No. Thank Jim. You. Actually, if I can, I, I will go back. Jim, it's been a pleasure having you on the board. And I'm sorry to see you go. I'm glad you did find a nice house to move into and you were able to sell your current house. That's a hot time. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a uh, thank you for your time. It has half as much taxes. Yeah. That's your school. It's cool. Your school tax. <laughs> uh, anyway, Jim, any other comment? No. What's it? No. Uh, Sue. Fantastic. We'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. What time is it? Uh, ten thirty-seven a.m. Seven o'clock here. Bye. Bye, Jim. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll talk to our class.